Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the item fire SMB, and today we are going to be looking at one that thing over there. Uh, it has changed a lot since the last video, which is oh, I'm clicking random buttons right here. It has changed a lot since last video, but we'll cover that in just a second. First of all, I want to cover this little tiny tree, or oh, well, it's not little tiny, it's a little little than that one, but it's obviously a bigger than Minecraft trees. So, there is a book and quill right here. And as you can see, I am gunpowder rich right now. Uh, I hear pillagers. Uh, it says pillager murs. Where is the pillager mur? Oh, they're over there. Okay, I'm not going to interact with them. Oh, there's also some there. Oh, no, that's not good. They're caught by what I'm guessing is a swing. Let's quickly just take these out. There's not a captain here, which is good, so we won't actually get bad omen. Okay, so now let's just quickly read this book. Okay, it's on page four. While it I it uh well, whoa, it looks like some sort of tree has risen from nowhere. Maybe it was the lightning last night, or maybe we just have super good soil. Either way, it looks like we have a huge company, a mother tree straight from mother nature. But it looks like it needs some support. An old an old new tree. Why is it so unstable or what slash who caused this? Well, it looks like some uh, townspeople have spruced up the new uh, giant. We could uh, get used to this. The mother tree has just awoken, treat it nice and, it, and you could help it blossom. So if my reading is not perfect, it looks like the soil is, uh, it looks like the soil in the spawn area is good enough for the tree to attempt to regrowth. With how fast it grows, it looks like she could be healthy enough in around 161 hours. Maybe making it feel loved again will help the process speed up. Okay, so it looks like we have to try and make this tree rise again. Maybe that will be something we have to do as a server. And maybe when we make it rise, the leaves might come back as the leaves. It doesn't look like there's many leaves on it at the moment. Okay, so it looks like I know Alfie was also working on some paths to decorate the area a bit more. And as you can see, he has linked up my shop with his shop. And also, I am just going to note that my iron stock has been moved to Alfie's shop. I will still get all profits from Alfie. It's just because Alfie sells gold and lapis that I thought, yeah, okay, we'll just move the iron in here. Just so it's easier for people to navigate around shops and that. Uh, but that ain't a big problem. So now let's move to the main point of this video. I got told to read a book by this tree. And I don't know where the book is. There is also another portal down there. And we did also make it so there's like a little AFK area down here. We will probably decorate this AFK area as it goes. But for now it's just a little area you can go in and not die. So instead of just... Normally I would just do something like this. And just sit in a hole with a block above my head. Now we've done it, so you don't need to do that. So, looking around the tree, I think I just saw the lectern here. Yes, the lectern is here. So, let's quickly just read this. Greetings, fellow warden. I have summoned this tree for you to look after, as I can no longer look after it myself. This tree has some hidden secrets. I can let you know one now, but some you will have to figure out yourself. The first the hidden secret, there should be two of these there for hidden, I think. Uh, secret is that the tree will strike lightning on anyone who angers it or its fellow keepers the tree will slowly curse any soil around it if you have any other questions ask the tree and it shall answer kind regards the fellow warden king p.s to keep it alive you will have to decorate around it and make the area look better i think that is going to be the plans for this video then i think in this video we're going to decorate around it make the uh, tree look like it fits in as it's just been plopped on top of this hill. And it... Uh, why is there pillagers everywhere? Have the pillagers got something to do with the tree? Because this tree has suddenly appeared. And now there's like pillagers everywhere. There's some down there. We then also saw some uh, stuck on that. And there was also some over there. That is three groups of pillagers within like barely anywhere. And it looks like there's quite a few over here. Because as you can see up on the map. Uh, how can I show that? Uh, if doing that, yeah, up on the map right there, there's loads of red spots. And red spots are villagers. So I have no idea. But now let me quickly just gather. Now there's phantoms. Oh, God. Okay, so now we are. I have got some items that I want to use to decorate the tree or around it. 
But something has popped up here. Um, I'm not going to cover this in this video due to it being another book. We've already read two books in this video. Uh, that one and that one. I don't know what this is. Well, I know what it is because I've already read it. But I don't think it has anything. Oh, that's a podium. That is pretty cool. Uh, I do have them and I have a use for them. But this, I'll just explain it kind of. This is tag. And at the moment I'm tagged. But I'm not going to do anything until I think next video. So tune into the next video to find out what is happening with this. So let's now quickly head to the tree and start decorating around it. But okay. It seems like the tree is already cursing the land around it. Which is good i guess i'm guessing that means it's coming to life because the book did state that it needs like uh it will curse land around it although i think we need to remove the curse so it can keep like cursing it so i will have to go around and just remove it all there's a blotch there there's a blotch there also a blotch there and there's more there is there any more around and i'm out of food that is not good let's quickly just go see if there's an ender chest anywhere that we can get a few diamonds from. Or maybe just check our shops real quick. Okay there's two diamonds right there. Let's quickly just take them. And we can now fly out. To grab some food from Dog's KFC. So let's quickly just head in here. Grab the two diamonds in my hand. And let's quickly just buy. Um, let's turn that off a second. So I can see. Let's buy two stacks of them. So that's a stack of chi uh, turkey legs. Turkey legs or chicken legs? Turkey legs. So let's quickly just cover what I want to do with these podiums. I don't have enough dirt to remove all of this just yet. But these podiums, they are a bit weird on how they work. So let's quickly just place one there. And I can't place it because it's uh, within my hitbox. So if I place one there, I, can, I can't climb up onto that. So let's quickly just get up here. What I can now actually do is I can now put a block right there. Let's quickly just put an item in it. Let's put obsidian in it. And that obsidian will float. Now if I put a block there, as you can see the obsidian pops through for like split seconds. And I think that's kind of cool. Because it makes it look like there's things just like hovering in the ground. And that item will obviously not despawn because it's within a podium. So we can do a few of them around the area. Just so it makes it look like some items are like floating. I don't want to break this with my axe because I don't want the whole tree to come down. But I think this is eventually going to be cool the way the items actually float through it. So they will now randomly just appear in the floor as you can see and they do it at different times. So I think this is people obviously might not notice it until like very late on. But I think it is like unique in the way it works. And I don't think these cause lag if the server does start to uh, lag a lot or something and I need to actually put an item in that. Uh, then I obviously will remove them. But I don't think they cause lag. And it looks kind of cool the way that they're just like all coming up at roughly the same time. So I've put another one there. And as you can see, yeah, I really like that. It looks like there's like stones being lifted up out of the ground. I'm going to put one more here if I can. Uh, I don't think I can put one there. Let's maybe move it. Uh, maybe let's pull it uh, more like here. I think something can go here. I don't want to break that dark oak with my pickaxe. Yeah, it can go here. Okay, so let's just pull it there. And I think that's a block too low. Um, yeah, that was. So let's quickly just use our slime sling. Let's pull it there. Now that's a block too high, I think. Uh, so maybe that isn't a block too low. I'm hoping this don't break the whole tree. It didn't. Is that a block too low? I don't know. It might not be actually. I quickly just need to grab a few pieces of dirt. So let's quickly just grab them two. And let's now put that right there. So that is now in a rough circle around the tree I think. Maybe we might need like one more here or something. But that's a rough circle and that looks kind of cool the way it's happening. So what I'm going to do now. Is I'm just going to put piles of these mossy uh, cobblestone. What are they called? They are called mossy cobblestone bricks. And I'm just going to put piles of these around the area. Okay, this area is really coming together. I've only touched like two things. But it's starting to look. I'm going to change these leaves out for I think umbrum leaves. But yeah, it's starting to look. If I just do that, you can see 
although that is like a oh phantoms are so annoying although that is like such a small thing i think it looks cool now i want to do something like this so it looks like the tree is being held up but i don't know if that looks good or not no i don't like how that looks um i was eventually i was actually going to use these as like things like that so they're like warning tapes because obviously when you uh, see like police for example i don't know if this is in other countries but in the uk they use like black and yellow tape as like a warning do not pass or do not enter sort of thing and i thought that could these could work for that but looking at them like that i don't think that looks good um so then the other idea i had was maybe doing it like that so it seems like it's holding the tree up maybe the tree isn't stable but i don't like that either and you are really getting on my nerves so one more thing i was thinking like that tree over there the uh, mother nature tree um what is wrong with that uh that looks burnt why is that burnt is that the design of the mushroom or is that because I don't think none of the others have like a bottom border. Does any of them around here? No, none of the others around there have a bottom border. Um, We'll have to keep an eye on that if that gets any worse. But yeah, what I can quickly do is head over here to this crafting table. And not craft string, craft some rope. Because like the tree right there, that has a swing on it. And I think this one can also have a swing. That would be really cool. Obviously, it wouldn't work because we are within Minecraft. But it's cool to use the imagination. So, can they be placed on leaves? They can't. So, I think it has to go like there. And then we can make it go down one more. Uh, with maybe trap doors or something on the bottom. And then also make these never brick chests to put around the tree. As they look really cool. So I think that will obviously make the uh, decoration of it better. And I think I'm going to remove these. I don't know why these are here. I'm guessing it's something to do with the corruption. But I don't like them around the tree. They make the tree look uh, horrendous. Okay, so I've done some decorating. But I have not finished. So I'll do more off camera. Uh, this is all I could actually get done in time. So I've changed it all to Podzil because the tree uh, book or the uh, Warden King did say that the tree will curse the land. And when you think of cursed or like um, so something like that, I think of Podzil. So I've tried to make it look a bit cursed and hopefully that will help the tree grow. I don't know if the curse will now overwrite the Podzil or if the curse will stop or if it will go like further down the uh, shopping district. I'm hoping that I've stopped it from like randomly changing pats of uh, grass, um, but I don't know. So I haven't finished decorating, and there's a button right there. We'll look at that in a second. But yeah, I'm hoping that it like has stopped it. Um, but I'm also hoping that the tree is safe enough and good enough to stay alive, because I don't want the Warden King to turn against me. So, over the next few days, between this episode and next, I will carry on now and again just changing a few things like making this area look a bit nicer, um, making some more decoration around here. As you can see, I have slowly been doing so. I'm also going to change all oak leaves out for the umbrum leaves because it looks like they've kind of been cursed. So, that is uh, something. Next episode, I should hopefully have this completely finished. And I might do some sort of like reward system where there's like a thing where when you open this chest there's a chance an item could appear in it. I'm not too sure just yet. But there is a button right here. So let's quickly just move that out of our inventory and let's click it and see what it gives us. Okay, it's given us some the deep crystal. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Uh, I'm hoping it don't do anything. So guys, I don't know what this crystal does, but I think it's okay for now. I'm going to leave it in my inventory, hoping that it don't do anything bad, as that obviously wouldn't be good. And I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, do leave a like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys thought of it in the description down below. Not the description, the comments. And I guess I will see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!